In this video tutorial, we're going to discuss how to update our theme when updates have been released. One of the first questions you're going to ask is, how do I know when there's an update released? Well, if you haven't subscribed to update notifications from ThemeForest, you can go to themeforest.net, log into your account, go to downloads, and locate the king size full screen background WordPress theme. Once located, you're going to see an option that allows you to subscribe for notifications when updates have been released. In addition to this option, we include a notification inside your dashboard. So once logging into your dashboard and there's been an update released, we're going to see a notification here just beneath our dashboard that says King Size Update. We can click on that. On the King Size Theme Updates page, it's going to inform you what version is now available. And it's going to give you some instructions on how to update. So let's review these together. It reads, there is a new version of King Size WordPress available for download on ThemeForest. To download this, head over to ThemeForest, log in, and go to Downloads. Locate in your list of downloads our theme and click Download. After downloading the updated files, extract that and follow these next steps. Number one, we always stress, back up your website. We cannot be responsible for any issues that occur during updating. It's always a safe rule and a good rule to back up before updating any themes, plugins, or WordPress itself. Step two, connect to your website using FTP, either use FileZilla or similar, and locate your WordPress installation. Step three, inside your WordPress install, locate the WP content slash themes directory. Step four, you should see inside the themes directory the existing king size folder. Step five, with the new downloaded version from ThemeForest, upload it to overwrite the existing folder. Step six, that's it. Load your website and ensure that it's all working as it did before. An important reminder is that if there were new features added into the updated version, it's always a good practice to go to your theme options, which is located under Appearance, and save all changes after updating. The reason we do this is if there were new features added, this will apply those features in the theme options. Following that, we have a little bit more that states, for more help, review our change logs, which are always posted on the website, as well now being stored inside of our documentation. You can check out the frequently asked questions and video tutorials that are always available and viewable both on the website demonstration and YouTube, as well as other demonstrations within our blog. If you need help, drop by the free buyer support forms, which are located at rwebmedia.com support. And if not comfortable updating it yourself, no worries. We can update the King Size WordPress theme for you for as little as $25. And not only that, we'll ensure it's done within 24 hours of your request. So let's go ahead and update this version so you can see exactly how we do it. So using FileZilla or an FTP program of your choice, log into your server. And once logged into your server, locate your WordPress installation. For us, it's in the public underscore HTML folder. We want to go to WP Content. We want to locate the themes directory. And inside the themes directory, we're going to see king size. Now there's two options we can do here. We can either upload the new version of the theme as a zipped folder, or we can upload it as an extracted folder. Now if we upload it as an extracted folder, it's going to take longer to upload. However, if we upload it as a zipped folder, there's a few additional steps that are required, just like when installing the theme. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to head over to ThemeForest, log into our account, download that new update, and once the update's downloaded, let's extract it to our desktop, and we're going to find King Size WordPress followed by the version that's currently available. If you're uncertain what version you have available, you can go back to your WordPress dashboard, locate Appearance, and go to Themes. Inside themes, you're going to find the active king size WordPress theme. We can click on the details, and not only from the thumbnail can we see that this is version 5.0.8, we can also see it over here in the details. 
For this demonstration purposes, we've changed the style.css to reflect 5.0.7 so that we could imitate what would look like an update. This was done for the purpose of this video. So what we're going to do next is we're going to go back to our FTP program. We're going to locate our king size WordPress folder that we've just downloaded. And inside of it, we're going to find template files. Inside the template files folder will be all of our most recently downloaded theme files. So we can see we have kingsize.zip and kingsizechildtheme.zip. We want to go ahead and upload the kingsize.zip folder to our server. And while it's uploading, we can log into our hosting environment. For us, we're using cPanel. Inside cPanel, we're going to locate File Manager. This may vary based on the hosting environment, but it's going to be a little bit similar. So locate File Manager and open that up. Inside File Manager, we want to navigate to that themes directory. So for us, it's public underscore HTML, WP content, themes, and then we can locate the king size folder that's currently installed and available. We can also see that the newly uploaded zipped folder is also here. So what do we do now? Simple. We extract and overwrite the existing king size folder. So in file manager we can locate extract after clicking the king size dot zip, click extract, extract files, and it's now extracted. As mentioned before when doing the installation demonstration, we noticed a Mac OS X folder. This is included because we are running a Mac computer and it's a private file that shows up whenever compressing a folder. So we're just going to ignore that. However, for keeping a tidy environment, we do recommend deleting it. It's not necessary to keep and it doesn't have any information that's going to be relevant to you your use of the king size WordPress theme or WordPress in general. So let's go ahead and delete that. Now we can see that the last time the king size folder was modified was today at 7:27 p.m. So now we can go back to our WordPress dashboard. We can go to themes. And deceiving as it may be, we still see the same thumbnail. This is often due to cache, so you'll have to clear your cache a few times just to ensure that that thumbnail updates. So for the purpose of this demonstration, we're going to go ahead and clear our cache. So now our cache is cleared. We're going to refresh the page. We're going to be asked to log in again. And once logged in, we're going to see that it's version 5.0.9. We can click the theme details and also confirm that it says version 5.0.9. This version number will of course change based on the version that you're installing currently. So let's go ahead and go to our theme options. And a good practice as mentioned before is just save all your changes to ensure that any new features that were added get applied to your theme. So now we can go to the front end of the website and we can confirm that things are working the way that they should. Browse through the various pages in your menu, ensure that everything's loading properly. That's it, you're done, you've updated your theme. We do recommend you update your theme via file transfer protocol, which is FTP. If you do it via the WordPress dashboard, it's a little bit more difficult. It does require you changing the folder name before uploading the new zipped folder. If you don't change the folder name prior to trying to update it, you're going to get a conflict. It's going to say that the theme is already installed. So we always recommend FTP. This way you can simply overwrite the existing folder with the updated version of King Size WordPress. Whenever in any doubt, visit our support forms, rwebmedia.com support.